Hi everyone, this is just a little add-on video to part three in the Intro to Oracle um, card series. I just wanted to kind of reiterate a few points um, that I'm, I'm a little concerned maybe weren't very clear in, uh, in, the, in the first part three video. The first thing is that for the next seven days, we're going to be doing a daily draw and then trying to write down at least a sentence at some point during the day about what the card meant to us. Um, and then after seven days, we're going to take a look at the, the work that we've done and see how we've gotten to know the deck, ourselves, and our own psychic gifts a little bit better over the past seven days. So for that to really um, feel like it's your gifts coming through, I would really encourage you not to look up a meaning in, a book, in the book that accompanies your deck as you're doing your daily draw. But if you really feel like you need to do that, then go ahead. But I would encourage you to um, at least get your the meaning from your intuition and from your guides and angels and from the deck's guides and angels first before you go look up the meaning. And then if you do look up the meaning, you can, connect, you can compare and see how close you were or not how close you were, but how both meanings tied into what you were getting um, spiritually. And, um, and how they've tied into your day. So that's the first thing that I just wanted to make sure I clarify, that for the next seven days, um, that's what we're going to be doing as part of the Intro to Oracle Card series. And the other thing I wanted to just make sure that I, I, that's clear is that um, daily draws are truly a very effective way for you to, number one, get to know your deck, and number two, get comfortable with your intuition and your psychic gifts. Um, these type of things that when we're when we're working with things daily and when we're in contact with spirit daily and we're making a conscious connection daily um this is how we build our abilities and our gifts and it's how we grow spiritually and it's how we learn to listen to that inner voice um, and your daily draw can also be a great time that you get to meditate um, with that card that you've drawn and it doesn't have to be half an hour or an hour meditation, even if it's just a five or a ten minute uh, meditation can be very effective. Um, so that's what I hope that, that you can take time to work on for the next seven days to, to get to know your deck. Um, and that's why I love doing this as a series instead of, I mean workshops are amazing, please don't get me wrong, and I do teach them, so I definitely think that they're valuable. But the great thing about the video series is that you can you have that time in between videos where you can really work with your cards. And that's what it comes down to at the end. Um, I'm not ever going to tell you that this is the way it is and this is what this card means and that's how it, that's how it goes. Um, I will not do that because it's not true. Um, to be an effective reader, it has to be a personal experience and it has to be what works for you. So I really encourage you to trust your gut and always listen to your inner voice before you listen to anyone else. So I wish you uh, well and I wish you many blessings as you um, start working with your daily draw. And if you already have been doing a daily draw, then just continue to do that for the next seven days like I will. Um, write down a few thoughts that you got and a few messages that you got and then we'll look back at that and see how effective that's been for us. So um, I think that's all that I, I just wanted to make sure it was very clear. Um, I know it's not very like cool to just do the daily draw, but it's really important and it's very valuable. And it's been one of the most effective ways that I've gotten to know my cards and uh, gotten to know my inner voice. So um, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.